Section 2.5, Equations of Lines. Number one, match the graph with the equation it most closely resembles. And you've got four choices and one graph. So what I'm going to do for this one is take a quick sketch of the graphs A, B, C, and D, and then determine which one closely matches the given one. Choice A is y equals 2x minus 1. And this has a slope of up to and a y-intercept, the b is equal to negative 1. So when you sketch that, you're going to start graphing at negative 1 on the y-axis, and you're going to move up two units to the right one. And you connect those with a straight line, and that actually looks like um, our choice. But let's double check the other ones to make sure we can rule those out. B, choice B is the equation x equals negative 1. This equation only has an x in it, so the graph of the line will only cross through the x-axis at negative 1 on the x-axis, so that is actually a vertical line. The equation for choice C is a linear equation where the slope is equal to 2 and the y-intercept b is equal to positive 1. So if you're graphing this line, you would uh, locate positive 1 on the y-axis and move up two units to the right one and sketch your line that way. And then finally, choice z is y equals negative 1. This is an equation that only has a y in it, so the graph is only going to cross through the y-axis, and, and it's going to cross through the y-axis at negative 1 and be a horizontal line. So out of all of the choices here, definitely choice A is the one that looks most like the choice of um, the graph given. Question number two, we want to match the following equation to the correct graph. We're given one equation and four graphs. Now this equation is written in what we call point slope form. So you can actually pick out the coordinates of a point on the line and the slope of a line to make a sketch of the line. The point slope form of a line is written usually as y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. You can pick out the x sub 1 where the point is x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and the slope is m. Notice what we have on the right side of the equation, x minus 3, so x minus x sub 1. That means x sub 1 is equal to negative, I'm sorry, positive 3. And the negative 4 is in the same location as the y sub 1. So the y sub 1 is 3, uh, negative 4. And then the slope of this line, the slope of the line is, is in the same location as the m. So we have m is equal to 1 half. So you can plot this line by going to the point 3, negative 4, and then using a slope of 1 half to get to the next point. On my graph paper, I'm going to locate the point 3, negative 4, go over 3, and down 4 units. That's a point that's on the line. And then using a slope of 1 over 2, I meaning I'm going to move up 1 and to the right 2 and f locate another point that's on the graph. Up 1 to the right 2, make a point. Up 1 to the right 2, and so on until I go off the page. And then you can also go in the opposite direction. You can go down 1 and to the left 2. Down 1 and to the left 2. And keep going until you go off your little graph paper square here, and then you can connect those points with the line. Now, out of all the choices we have here, it looks like 
choice D is the correct choice or the one that looks most like it. And we can zoom in to double check. It does look like it goes through the point one, two, three, down four right here. And it has a slope of up one over two. We're going to choose choice D. In question number three, we're asked to find an equation in standard form of a line having the given slope and containing the point. We are going to first use the point slope form of a line, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. This, this, the value for m is already given, so we're going to plug that into our formula here, and then the point 7, 9 would indicate that the x sub 1 value is equal to 7 and the y sub 1 value is equal to 9. By making those substitutions and plugging it into the point slope form of a line, we get the following equation. y minus 9 is equal to negative 4 times the quantity of x minus 7. So we're making those substitutions for the three values, slope, m, the x sub 1 and the y sub 1. This is in point slope form. We need to convert it to standard form. In standard form, we have the equation in the form of ax plus by equals c is our standard form, where a, b, and c are all positive, in, well, are all integers, no fractions, and a is a positive number. When we simplify this point slope form of line, we're going to distribute and get the following simplified form. y minus 9 equals negative 4x plus negative 4 times a negative 7 is a positive 28. Now I want to get the, a and the x and the y on the left side of the equation. By simplifying, I am going to add 9 to both sides. And we get the equation in the following form. y equals negative 4x plus 37. Now this is actually a, in slope-intercept form. And if it's in this form, you can use a graphing calculator to sketch the graph. We want to then make this equation look like the standard form. And to do that, we are going to add 4x to both sides of the equation. When we add 4x, this y plus 4x, we can write it as 4x plus y equals 37. This is the equation of the line in standard form. That is our final answer, and we can check our work. 4x plus y equals 37. Well done. Question number four. Write an equation in standard form with integer coefficients for the line with slope 12 over 5 going through the point negative 3, negative 1. Okay, this is a lot like the beginning of the last question we did, we're going to use y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. The values that we're going to substitute are the first number given is 12 over 5. That's our slope. m is equal to 12 over 5. And the point negative 3, negative 1, that is going to let us know that x sub 1 is negative 3 and y sub 1 is negative 1. Plugging in those values into the point slope form of the line, we can start to come up with the equation of the line. So it's going to be y minus a negative 1 equals m. I'm sorry, let's go back. y minus a negative 1 is equal to the slope, which is 12 over 5, times x minus x sub 1, which is a negative 3. When we simplify this, when we have a minus a negative, we change that to a plus, and then also the same thing here, we change it to a plus. 
let's get um, some start to simplify this equation by distributing the slope 12 over 5 times x and 12 over 5 times 3. So our next step is going to look like y plus 1 equals 12 over 5 x plus 12 over 5 times 3. We can use a calculator or simplify this by hand. 12 over 5 times 3 is 36 over 5. Now we want to get, um, if we get the y by itself, that will allow us to have it in a form where we can graph it using a calculator, graphing calculator. So in order to get the y by itself, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And we'll end up with y is equal to 12 over 5x plus 36 over 5 minus 1. Use a calculator or work it out by hand, and you have 36 over 5 minus 5 over 5, so that should give you 31 over 5. Okay, this equation is in the uh, slope-intercept form, which is nice if you're using a graphing calculator to sketch the graph. But we want to get this into standard form, and to do that, we want the x and the y. Again, standard form is in the form of ax plus by equals c. So to make this equation look like standard form, we want the x and the y on one side of the equation. I'm going to uh, subtract 12 over 5x from both sides of the equation. And when we add these together, y minus 12 over 5x is the same thing as negative 12 over 5x plus y equals 31 over 5. In standard form, you have the x and y on one side and a number on the, on the right side. We also uh, want to make sure that there are no fractions, so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5, multiply by 5, so that you can actually get rid of the any fractions. Standard form, there are no fractions. So if we multiply 5 times negative 12 over 5, you get negative 12x, and multiplying here, multiplying here, uh, plus 5y, equals 5 times 31 over 5 is 31. And then the very last thing that we need to check for in standard form is that the leading coefficient is positive. So what you can do is multiply everything by a negative 1 on both sides of the equation to get our final answer which is positive 12x minus 5y equals negative 31. Check our answer. In this problem, you're given spaces to put the coefficients. And the x's and the y's are already listed in the answer spaces. Excellent job.